Please pay attention, this is a very important safety message. Before we take you through the jumping rules, it's important to be aware that you are responsible for your own safety. Parents or guardians, you are also responsible for the safety of the children that are in your care. By entering the park and using the activity equipment, you are acknowledging and agreeing to this. You must watch this safety briefing video and complete a risk acknowledgement form to use the activity equipment. Only take part if you are in good physical condition. Do not take part if you have any pre-existing medical conditions, including breathing, heart, back, neck, bone or muscle conditions, or if you are pregnant. Jumping do not provide supervision of children. Parents or guardians, you are responsible for the safety and supervision of the children in your care. Jumping do not assess individual ability or suitability to use the activity equipment. This is the responsibility of the user or their parent or guardian. The activities are high impact, which require focus, awareness of your body's strengths and limitations, and awareness of the environment around you. Know your limits. Only jump within your own ability. Do not attempt flips or other advanced maneuvers unless you know you are competent and have the appropriate skills. Be aware of people around you. It is your responsibility to avoid others. Look out for the smaller ones and act responsibly. Approved jump pink safety socks must be used at all times. If you get tired, take a break. Tiredness can result in loss of concentration. No participating under the influence of alcohol, illicit drugs or prescribed medication that may affect your ability to function safely. Store any valuables and sharp objects into the lockers provided. Look out for signage around the park and on the attractions themselves. These will display important safety rules for you to read and follow. Some of the attractions require users to be over a certain height to use them, so please be aware that your height might need to be measured by a member of the jumping team. Here are the rules for the trampolines. Practice first before moving around. Be aware of how to bend your knees to control or stop your bounce. Always jump so you land on both feet at the same time. Never land with just one foot, this can lead to serious injury. Jump and land in the center of the trampolines. Never jump near or onto the colored pads. One person per trampoline. Never jump or step onto an occupied trampoline because this can cause double bouncing or the rebound effect and lead to serious injury. No climbing the trampolines or the padding. Performance trampolines are white or pink. Take extra care when using these trampolines because they have a greater rebound effect and provide superior height. Here are the rules for the airbags. No flips, no going backwards. Never dive, bomb or jump headfirst into the airbag. Plan your landings in advance and always land on your bum or your back. Here are the rules for the inflatables and the foam pits. Never dive, bomb or dive headfirst into the inflatables or foam pits. Descend the inflatable features by either downward climbing or a controlled jump and do not hide in the ball pool or foam pits. The rules for ninja are Enter at the start point. Do not enter partway through the obstacles. Descend features by either downward climbing or a controlled jump. And when using the walked walls, only go when the runway is clear. Thanks for listening. Now go and have some fun.